Hey friends, in this video we are going to discuss some amazing tricks of Microsoft Excel. Friends, before we start the video, if you have not been subscribed to our YouTube channel Microsoft Office Tutorials, please subscribe it now and press the bell icon button so that you don't miss any new incoming video. So let's start our tutorial. The first trick that we are going to discuss is that in Excel how we can add new custom shortcut key as per our requirement. The question is why do we want to add new shortcut key? Here I have an example for you to better understand the situation. This is a table in which we have list of items or tasks that I need to complete in my office every month. Normally what I do whenever I complete a task, I come to this file, I select that task, I use shortcut key control plus 5, I go to home tab, I go to font color and I change font color into red. And now whenever I come to this file, I will have an idea that this work I have been completed already and these are the remaining works that I still need to do. So whatever I do here, I do this in two or three steps. I just use shortcut key control plus 5 that gives a strike through line. I go to home tab. In home tab, I go to font color and I change hair color red. Now this thing that I have been done in two or three steps, I can do the same task in one step. I can create a custom shortcut key to do this task and then again whenever I need to highlight this any task I have been completed any task I will simply select and I will use shortcut key to do the same format. So now question is how we can create a shortcut key to do this task or any task whatever we want. Let's say for this task we want to create shortcut key what we need to do we, need, we will go to this a small icon. You can see we will click on this icon and Excel will start recording our actions. We just need to do same thing again and Excel will record this thing for us. So what we will do, we will click on this. We will write here macro name, let's say. I will write here macro name, work done. Then down here I will write description for work done. And here shortcut key, whatever shortcut key we want to use. Let's say we want to use shortcut key control plus shift plus C. So control here we have already, I will just press shift plus C and now this is shortcut kit that we are going to create. So now I will click on OK. After we click on OK, we will just same thing again. We will not do anything else. We will just revise this uh, thing that we have done already or for which we want to create shortcut key. I will go for OK. Then I will use shortcut key control plus 5 for this strike through line. I will go to home tab. I will go to font color, I will change font color into red and here we go. Now after this you don't need to click anywhere or you don't need to do anything else. You need to go right here to this icon, you need to click here and now we have been created our shortcut key. Let's try our shortcut key. I will select this and I will use our shortcut key control shift C and here we go. I will select this, I will use shortcut key control shift C and here we go. So now we have been created our shortcut key to strike through and to change font color into red. We will use only this shortcut key and we have done this work that we used to do in two or three steps. The next trick that we are going to discuss is dynamic border. What does mean of dynamic border? Dynamic border mean if we delete anything from cells, border should disappear automatically. If we write anything in a cell, border should come automatically. So mean border is dynamic. If we delete, border disappear. If we write anything, border should appear. So how we can enable dynamic border? Let's say we want to apply dynamic borders on these columns. So we will simply select these columns. We will go to home tab. In home tab, we will go to conditional formatting, new rule. In new rule, we will go here use a formula to determine which cells to format. Down here, we will write a simple formula. We will use equal sign. We need to write here the first cell of our selection. First cell of our selection is B1. We will write B1 not equal to sign, smaller than and greater than sign. When we write together, this means not equal to. If B1 is not equal to, 
blank if b1 is not equal to blank then what format we want we want border so we will apply border so we will go for okay okay so now if we write anything we have border here we don't have border we just write anything so border comes but in case we delete anything border does not disappear so how we can manage this now if we write anything border appears automatically but for any cell we don't have anything border does not disappear automatically for this again we need to select these cells we need to go to home tab conditional formatting new rule this last option and here we will write again simple formula if b1 is equal to blank now as we want that any cell that don't have anything in it then we don't want border so if b1 is equal to blank meaning don't have anything we will go to format we don't want any border so we will remove borders from here okay okay and here we go you can see hey don't we don't have anything border disappears let's say if i will delete from here let's say from here till here i delete and border disappears if i delete border disappears automatically so in this way you can use dynamic borders in microsoft excel the next trick that we are going to discuss is that for such text or lookup value that are incomplete how we can use the vlookup function let's say here we have this employee name david and from this table we want to know that this employee david has how much commission so simply what we do we use vlookup function this is lookup value for this employee david we want to know from this table what is commission so we will select this whole table we will insert comma now column index number commission is in 1 2 3 4 5 5 th column we will write here 5 comma 0 close parenthesis enter and this is error let me just freeze this i will just drag it down and for all these we don't have any result of we look up function we have here error why because this text or look up value is not complete here you can see here we have full name david olivia but here we have only david so how we can manage that if we don't have full lookup value if we don't have full text or full name how we can use we lookup function for this what we will do we know that first name we know but after first name if there is middle name or last name we don't know what is middle name or what is last name or how many characters are after this word david so what we will do after this lookup value that we have been selected here what we will do we will use here and sign quotation mark star again quotation mark and enter this star means this is there is something after this lookup value that we don't know so whatever we don't know we have been inserted here star in place so we have been press enter i will just drag it down and you see that for david that we have here actually david olivia we have here commission 543.29 for leonardo actually we have name leonardo john commission is 530.94 same we have here for edward this is the first name of an employee we don't know what is full name but our we look up function still works actual name is full name is edward hulk and commission is 840.95 and here our we look up function gives us exactly correct answer so in this way you can use we look up function in case you don't know what is complete text or what is exact lookup value so friends that's all for today if you like this tutorial please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel microsoft office tutorials and also don't forget to press bell icon button thanks for watching see you in next video bye bye